welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nessa Dragon here, and you're watching Game of Nessa. And let's rumble. Alright, guys, welcome to a new video and a new day. Okay, we are doing the Archon Quest. Still, it's the same quest, a toast to victory. Okay, hope this is not long because I've been doing this a two part video for this quest. Oh, usually I do that. Oh, let's do this. Let's rumble. But he's already here. Looks like we're the last ones to arrive. You're here. Ah, oh, there you are. Well, look who finally decided to show up. You look like you came here immediately after finishing up some. But we're not late, are we? It's just. I propose that the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. <laughs> nah, there won't be any speeches today. Oh, really? What? Come join us over here. Let's share some. Everything looks. Wow, Paimon can't wait. Traveler, just look. Oh, at... <laughs> okay. Let's rumble. Okay, I haven't. I've been saying that a lot of time today on the day. Let's rumble. Let's rumble. Have Have I been high? No, I haven't. I have not, have, haven't even touched those, and it's will so not ever, ever in my life. This grilled meat tastes amazing. The food was specially prepared. Everyone that came said that you saved Sumeru. Ah, <sighs> feels being a bodyguard is also a hero's job. You've always, <laughs> my lady, sh and I'm happy to meet everyone that. Don't mention it. Come to think of it, we've really done something impressive together. We owe it to our abilities. And luck. Really? Why do I remember everybody thinking that luck was against us and feeling like we hardly had a chance? That's how I remember it too. It's luck that brought us together, and it was luck that led us. Moreover, judging from the results, ev yeah, everyone gave it their all when it mattered. It was almost like a performance. Everyone played their part, and thanks to everyone's. So, would you say we're good actors too? <laughs> Okay, Such that was a good one. Our Lord Kusanali was able to return to power at the academia. Yes, even after being abandoned and neglected so many times, she's finally returned. Uh huh. Lesser Lord Kusanali once seized all her power in a great disaster, which resulted in her losing all her wisdom and memories of the past. The academia basically abandoned her because of it. This should be something. Everybody should remember. Uh huh? You look surprised. I didn't- No, everything you said is cr- <sighs> Something wrong? Yeah, what's with that face? You knew all of this already. <clears throat> Even if those two giants of the academia are here, I still have to say it. Those sages really have some nerve. 500 years ago, Lesser Lord Kusanali used all her power for the people of Sumeru, and what- If you bite the hand that feeds you, don't act surprised when it turns into a knuckle sandwich, right? So <laughs> okay, that was a, that was a cool. The treatment of Lesser Lord Kusanali calls for a more severe punishment. You could simply tell Lesser Lord Kusanali that you wish to have a severely punished. I respect our deity's decision and won't interfere while we're on this topic. Why didn't you accept the Academia's invitation to become the Grand- Are you trying to say that I'm fit to be a sage? <laughs> Not at all. But every person handling this election process has said that you are the most suitable candidate to lead the Academia- Why? Because he dethroned Azar from power? <clears throat> Could you try to put it in another way? This is a good thing, yet you're making it sound like I overthrew Azar for my own personal gain. <laughs> But seriously, I always wondered if you had some personal motives behind it. I did have my own motive, but it had nothing to do with being a si If the rules of our nation were suddenly cast by the wayside, then it wouldn't be long until- By that, you mean your life working as the Academia's scribe. Precisely. Uh, wait, is that all- So, that's the only reason why you joined us and came up with all the- It's reason enough. 
You've certainly got quite the personality. You flatter me. All right then. How about you? You've already resumed work. That's right. Will you be happy with it? It's not about being happy. Even so. <sighs> Thank you. There's a lot of it. I'm not patient enough. And also talk to everyone, four of them. They all talk to Neil. Ah, there you Well, how is it? Are you enjoying the feast today? If there's any... <laughs> That's good. It's the first time I've ever invited so many exceptional people to one place. I, you see, every guest here is quite extraordinary. Make sure you live it up tonight. Okay. <laughs> think of me this way. If I have a chance in the future, I can't explain why. But I just feel elated. Okay, so I'll hate them. All right, two best friends, you know. Um, <laughs> okay, I will have I a lot of perfect time. in such lively gatherings. But the, no, the Grand Bazaar is lively because the people here feel happiness from the bottom of their hearts. That happiness is an emotion that'll be forever alien to those bookworms who have driven themselves insane by studying. Hmm. I seem to have taken both keys when I left the house. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so you basically kicked out Kali, didn't you? Seriously? Okay, let's talk to Sina. Uh, <laughs> as I know. <laughs> okay, the I. Hair is good, and everything is delicious. I want his dad jokes. I want to hear his dad jokes. Yeah, I don't often come to such places, but it feels quite good. I have a lot to handle these days. Otherwise, I could show you around. <laughs> There's always next time. We're friends after all. <sighs> this feast is pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, can you listen up and crack some dad jokes? I do want to hear your jokes. My lady, the grilled needle. Yes, I. What an amazing place to relax. You said it. Oh, look who else is here. Oh, oh I'm so happy Milu invited everybody. Hey, less of that polite chit chat, more eating and drinking. The feast is about having. Okay. So we talk to everyone. Okay, four of them. Okay, something is up. Am I sleeping? What's wrong? Your head is starting to droop. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. Paima will go find something delicious for you to eat. You wake up once you. Of course, just wake you. Okay, something is not right. For me or. We're stuck in a freaking samsara again, aren't we? Oh my god! Okay. Okay, certainly you had. I said I should go thank everyone as myself, right? So. I've decided to borrow your body for the time being. Please don't blame me. The floor. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold 
up. What's going on? I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali in the Grand Bazaar. Interesting. No, no, of course not. Are you? Honey, you know who I am? <laughs> yes. I already know every one of you. Lesser Lord Kusanali? I took the liberty of occupying the Traveler's body, so that I could think of- Thank you so much for- Without you- Without me- Had you not helped me to resolve the crisis? Not only I, people refer to you as- Please, allow me to present to you my most sincere gratitude. Lost your word, Kusanelli, you- Ten years on, the suffering- You don't need to be so ceremonious. It's up. This is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the- You're an Archon, but you act so humble. You really don't need to be so polite with- I... I'm honored to- Thank you, all of you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Yeah, <laughs> that's really weird, though. Okay, I want to know when the Wonder re Redemption will happen. So I want to know. I thought that will happen there. But I defeated Wonder as Wonder, so I'm having a lot of bit confusion. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The next day. Is it already. Did you rest well? After Nahida left, you ate a lot of food. You've become a glutton. Hmm. That just means you still have a lot to learn from Master Paimon. Thus, all right. Since you're awake now, she, she should be in the academia right about. Okay. Okay. So what the hell? Yeah. Hello, traveler. And <sighs> what a fantastic. So are we. And that is there anything you want to know? East, I know you had many misgivings about him, but as someone who had become a god, he has retained a number of very useful features. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him and make sure. In addition, there are still some mysteries left in him. His future will be determined by fate. After recent events, the Akasha can no longer function as it used to. I've given it some thought, but this is definitely not a bad thing. Even from the Akasha's centralized administration, although people may initially feel a little uncomfortable. And as for the future of Sumeru, the former sages have received their punishment, but the new sages have yet to be selected. Okay. I will oversee the process personally. I hope that the new six great sages will be more focused on academics. Sumira needs such leaders. The other big issue is the people of King Deshret. All the residents of the desert and I've already taken some measures to address- Okay. You mean, what happened? You guessed correctly. The top-ranked Fatui Harbingers, up to number three, possess power comparable to that of gods. However, in spite of the bad situation, I'm sure you remember the entity that changed her. In fact, the Heavenly Principles has been quiet since the Conria disaster 500 years ago. A useless point is leverage against the Doctor. I told him that the Heavenly Principles may be awakened if I destroyed a Gnosis. Although it's just a bluff, he still fell for it. I assumed that the Heavenly Principles wouldn't just stand by and let such extensive damage to its lock and as the exchange served as both punishment for the Doctor as well as a boon of new knowledge that I couldn't refuse as the God of Wisdom. Is that where you're headed next? Fontaine, the Nation of Justice? As far as I know, that nation operate does their Archon personally judge people? No, there's a Chief Justice in Fontaine. Generally speaking, the Hydra Archon, Fosalor, won't preside over individual tr However, even then, Fosalor will still make herself present at just about every trial. It seems that she just likes to immerse herself in that sort of atmosphere. As Archon, 
she still reserves the right to... Anyway, let's just say she's got... Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked? Huh? About your sister. While you were resting at Gandarvaville, I took some time to perform an Ermansoul search for information on your sister. Yeah. Isn't Ermansoul a repository for all the information and memories of Tibet? So there should... This is true in your case. Ermansoul indeed does not... However, there must be something different about your sister. Because, as it turns out... What? What? There is only one possible explanation. She belongs to this... But... Nothing about this makes any sense! Wasn't this your first trip to Tibet? Hmm... According to the records I was in after the Conria disaster, she began her journey through the Seven Nations of Tevat. But just as her journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermansoul records on her suddenly become fuzzy. What do you mean, fuzzy? Did something happen to her? All I know for sure is that somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating her fate. Okay. Whatever it is, if they can do that... But... Even that wouldn't explain- Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the Descenders. What's a Descender? Look, I'm sure you must be curious. A very important part of the intel was about this traveler. You are Tevat's fourth Descender. Huh? So the Fatui count three other Descenders before the traveler? And his sister isn't even one of them? That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first Descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other Descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from- And yet, even knowing all this, I'm sure you must still have a lot of unanswered questions. There are many questions in my heart as well. And soon. You'll also begin your... I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that if fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be... I'm unsure. The pleasure is all mine. All right. Okay. You must have a whole bunch of questions after our last conversation with Nahida. I'm always ready to ask her a million more questions, but... I didn't want to seem too pushy. Okay. Like, about this dis okay, so we have two archon questions. Okay, so we have this. For Zomos and this. Which one should we do? Let's do this. And as for your sister. Whew, so many questions. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. All right, guys, let's do this. We're doing this arc quest. How far we should go? Put armors. Okay, that is actually very far. We're doing. We're gonna find traveler's sister. That's this Arc Conquest about. The wind rises. Never been here. Okay. Let's do this. Huh? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tibet, right? Who's asking? Do you need something from a You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from a he was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get 
mailed to us unless we have them, so, um, what address did Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. What? So the address is Paimon? <laughs> <laughs> and if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Okay. Of course. Here it is. All yours. <laughs> Paimon oh, is the address. Okay. So, it's been a while. How have you been? I heard to you have been traveling in Samara and I happen to be in uh, Port Armour on an official business lately. I've been my dude for drink and everything. Do, do. Your trusty buddy Kaya. Kaya! Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't. Hmm. Or maybe he's. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It's all, the letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in. Alright. Let's begin the quest. Okay, we're doing this Arkham quest. With the symbol of his and his sister. So, after that, I will do this. Genosis. Okay. Maybe we should have done that first. But, I just want to do this. First. I'll do that quest. Promise. Okay, 16 to 18. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, come on! Plenty of suck into it. Okay, maybe I should not speak like that. But how do you do, partner? Okay. Oh, this is actually right here. Casually, the better deer. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of. Oh, well then, just the bill, please. Kaya, you're really here. I'm on half that. Hey, Paimon, traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good- Wait a second, you must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Dean? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. <laughs> Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over. It's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. I do not I'm believe in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Okay, sorry if you hear the song. Like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D Luke are gonna make a tiny sum from the Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or Hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nicely, Captain. Oh? What makes you say that? Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Mm. And? <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I... Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. 
I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru was because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to... As well as ensuring that I'd be safely cut off from... This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, these days, my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. <laughs> look at his face. Look at <laughs> look at, at Trowler's face. <laughs> Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albury? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Albury, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you would- Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change it. Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly series. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as... Either way, looks like we're out of time. Uh, well, I'll... See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclude. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? I mean to investigate the loom of fate. Yeah, the abyss orders in Not new. Not exactly. My memories, your sister. She mentioned the loom of fate back when we traveled together. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one... Well, what do we... No. No, no, it's I'm still waiting for my <laughs> Come on, can you blame him? I still need a lot of alcohol for adjusting his lights. <laughs> Too slow. Okay, so we need to go here. Okay, so it's literally near Bardos, Leo, and 
some error. Okay, so alright guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright guys, bye!